I presented um, work that we've been doing over the last 10 years on um, using sulfatochromic dyes in solution to um, detect and provide information about homeopathic potencies. So um, the sulfatochromic dyes um, subtly change colour in the presence of potencies. It's a bit like having a, a, a reporter, a journalist on the field. So they're just relaying back what's going on. And that, that's what the dyes do. They're, they're reporter compounds that, um, that, that say what, what the situation is in solution. Over the past 10 years, it really started with an idea that, that these, these dyes, which are very special kinds of dyes, um, might um, detect potencies. So the first step was really just to, to mix the dyes with various potencies and see what happens. And those first results showed that uh, there was some sort of interaction and that the dyes could um, relay that information back. And then that's gone on from there. Um, we've looked at a whole range of dyes, sort of 50 or so dyes, and um, we've also looked at them under different conditions. Um, and, um, and from that, built up a picture slowly of, of what might be happening with the potencies, how they might be working. I mean, we're, we're still a long way off from understanding how remedies work, but we're sort of step by step building up more and more information about them. So in a sense, it's, it's sort of standard scientific research that you ask a question, you get an answer, but the answer generates three more questions in its place. So <laughs> it's sort of mushrooms. And um, I mean, there's enough research work for another 10 or 20 years, probably.